This is Space Runner 5. Welcome back to episode 10 of Cards, where today we are playing our U.S. Japanese deck because there is a D-Day community challenge going on today as of June 5th, which is today, obviously, um, which I think you guys are seeing tomorrow. So it's technically June 6th when you guys see this. Um, oh, we got a lot of card removal. Not quite what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and throw two of those back. Uh, we don't have any one drops. Any one drops that we necessarily want. Um, but the D-Day Community Challenge, that's just a 10-day commemorative event of the of basically D-Day itself. Um, for all those that died on both sides, the German, US, British, Canadians, even the French were involved, you know, they were more of a kind of a satellite nation at that point. But yeah. You know, to honor all those. So today's event um, is for deploy units of the 101st Airborne 406. 463rd Battalion and the 506 Airborne, um, which we only have two 463rd Battalions inside of our deck, but they are in there. Are we waiting on me? No, okay. Um, so and that's just commemorate the Air Force coming in uh, pre uh, pre invasion. Uh, no, dude, you have to end your turn. Um, so just to memorate the um, them dropping in. Yeah, it's not my turn; it's his turn. So just commemorate that. Um, so on this night, on the night before D-Day, Eisenhower met with the 101st Airborne Division to give them a key piece of advice: the trick is to keep moving. Um, so that's just kind of commemorate that um, and that action. So you have Blitz. So do we. So we'll go ahead and kill that. Not a problem, and then we'll just go ahead and end our turn. Uh, we'll just give him a good luck. Um, so yeah, we're we're gonna try and get that challenge because we are a part of the community, and obviously we want to give back. Um, I want to thank you to um, the commenter on the previous video um, who uh, who said that we can only have nine, or who actually told me how many cards we can have in our hand, which is nine. Um, if you draw a tenth card, it just gets thrown away because I didn't know exactly which one. Or how many? Um, but so that was. I want to thank you in advance for that. Um, it's most appreciative. Alrighty, fully heal. Make you a two-four. Honestly, it's not bad. And get rid of the blitz guy. And all friendly unit, ground units in the front line get plus one defense. It's all right. Not too bad. It's still very early. You just have blitz. I'm not that concerned, honestly. Smoke screen. And our four drops. Let's at least go ahead and just play a four drop. It's still early. I want to keep my money. Be a little bit conservative because this guy is going to be expensive to move forward. And we don't have any way of healing him at the moment. Ironically, he's... It's weird to think that infantry are one of our best cards for uh, attack and defense. But, no, it's true. Right, and a lot of uh, the British players, or the British and the Soviets have, like, one, one fives and one eights are pretty strong. Front line, so we do have, honestly we have one of our win conditions, uh, which is not bad. Go ahead and kill this unit. I think that's acceptable. Drop another 4-4 units. Do we want to do that? Do we want to heal? I think we want to heal it. Or not heal. Uh, drop just to go ahead and develop the board a bit more. Since I'm not that concerned with this guy, I, my big concern is that he's going to hit this guy and then kill this guy at the same time. Or vice versa. You know. I'd like the extra two damage like spread it out as much as possible. Because then we can flood a little bit. Or if it, ideally it would go on the HQ and we get to keep our units. Primary Japanese player, not a big deal. Do have blitz? Let's go into play this unit so we have an additional target that can be hit. All right, it went to our HQ. Perfect. Go ahead and take the front line. <laughs> we have two credits. Can do imperial order. You're probably just going to keep hitting the HQ. Not a big deal. I think honestly giving you the imperial order to heal you up three or five five is probably our best bet. Just so you're no longer damaged, because we're not quite ready for due to supply frontline. Probably should have moved forward, honestly. One space with the M8 with our extra credit. 
Um, but he's not. Re he's kind of in reserve at the moment. He's not. He's not pushing. Hmm. Got sudden strike. Cost two. Let well, there goes our M8. Oh wait. Let me read that. Destroy a unit that costs two credits or less. Yeah, that, that was interesting. Let's go and destroy the aircraft so we don't have to deal with it. March forward, hit the HQ. And we can just walk, keep walking forward. We'll take the full front line and then we can supply the front line. Next time, an attack with two units. Or we could we could probably wait, honestly. It's not that imperative. The use ace, probably use next turn as well. Just uh, beef up our units a bit more. So we can do 9, 10, 12 damage next turn. It's not too bad. We would not be developing any cards, though. Any new cards, really. If we had a Sherman, though, I want to play it for the card draw, just in case. Nice 4-4 four, four with Ambush. Not bad. We're definitely not going to attack into that. And we're not going to attack that unit either. There is a Sherman. Go and lay that down. Howitzer and a Woke Giant is fantastic. Go ahead and do 5 damage. Go ahead and do 4 more damage. Let's pepper for one more. I'm not going to play the use ace um, just in case. I want to see what he's doing. Um, so, because he can do four damage here, but he needs to cleanse this front line. Um, and I don't want to play the use ace here, um, because he, he's just going to focus anyways. If I played it here, um, we'd still be shy one, so he can technically clear, clear, and, well, actually he can't clear there, honestly. So, this, I'm not going to say it's a, it's a, it's a done deal. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give it GG. I guess it was a done deal. He didn't have anything to to counter. I I know there are like if he did an, uh, did a uh, the naval barrage, which stuns all of our ground units, could have could have brought it back or something. But alrighty, we did not complete our D-Day challenge. Um, um, actually, it looks like we've already did. So I wonder if it started tracking uh, last night while I was playing our recording. But, alrighty, I will see you guys in the next episode, or not the next episode, the next battle. <laughs> alrighty guys, welcome back to game two, where we are playing against another American player. Hopefully they're trying to complete the community event as well. Let's see, the zero is a little bit too expensive for what we're doing at the moment. I'm okay with our two and three drop. I'd prefer how to have a one drop. Uh, the Imperial Order is honestly uh, pretty good that we put on our howitzer, so I won't complain about that. Go ahead and just end our turn right off the bat. US does have quite a few one drops, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's one right there. It's the exact same as our howitzer though, so we can go ahead and just play that. He can cut drive forward and start peppering us, but we have our Imperial Order that we can uh, play. Let's see. Curious what what he's playing with uh, the US. Because uh, the U.S. I've, I haven't really seen very many main U.S. players. Is he just going to pepper us? No. Okay. It's a little annoying, but okay. Play an Imperial Order. Go ahead and become a 2-4 so we can survive. Play the Type 93 so we'll get 3 attack. And we'll just kill him. There we go. That got rid of two of his cards, so we are six to three. So we are a little bit behind, but we have two cards developed. We have a howitzer that can pretty much destroy most of the cards in the game, at least this early on. Deal two damage to any target. Okay, it's not bad. I'm okay with two with two attack, honestly, because we will develop and do one damage. Two damage. There we go. So the M8 and the howitzer combo is pretty good. You 
basically drop the M8, drive to the front line, and then you can do additional two damage for uh, the cost of two. Let's see, a 1 8 with guard, we're obviously going to move our 4 4 forward. And there is our 463rd Battalion for the community event. And we do have guard as well. Uh, we're not going to play the Osaka guard though. Play another 4 4. And we'll just pass. We're going to play the Osaka guard uh, eventually. I'm um, just guard our artillery from anything, trying to blitz across the board. Has three attack against ground units, or three additional, so it's basically a 5-3. It's a great card for us to draw. Go ahead and get rid of the aircraft so we don't lose a ground unit. Go ahead and hit for two. And you have guard. Go ahead and trade there. I think we go ahead and drive the 4-4 uh, four, four forward. Again, just apply extra pressure. Two, three again. Okay. Got to fully repair this unit. Not bad. Death from above. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to drive the M8 forward. Do the damage with the artillery. Gets rid of that guy. Hmm, we would just want to go and hit this guy. Yeah, let's see why not. Get rid of him with guard. He can obviously trade for either of them with his 3-3, but that's okay. Go and develop our 463rd Battalion. And then we have death from above for any big guy that he's going to lay down. Really, he went for the, uh, the M8. Actually, kind of makes sense, because... Uh, you can kill without taking uh, big damage. So you trade here, kill there, and hit for four, and then march forward. It'll be fine. <clears throat> Means we're basically out of cards, though. He doesn't have any guard. That guy's gone. Not gonna let you uh, try and take away one of my four hitters. Additional damage there. And then we'll go ahead and develop the Osaka guard. So our artillery is now guarded. The front line is held, but very shakily. If he has anything with blitz, he can go ahead and clear. Oh, he surrendered. Give, uh, oh, can't give a GG. Well, there you go. We uh, completed our community objective once again. Um, so, you know, if you enjoyed today's episode, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.